Hi, my name is John Labor, and in this segment of the Technology Showcase, we're going to be talking about SOLIDWORKS PCB. Now, for this example, I'm going to uh, create a PCB project in SOLIDWORKS PCB and place my mechatronics components into my schematic and push them over to a PCB board. From there, I'm actually going to send that board over to Cody, our mechanical engineer, who's going to work inside of SOLIDWORKS, and he's going to make changes to that board, and then he's going to push that information back to me. So to start off with, I'm going to create my SOLIDWORKS PCB project. Once my project has been created, I'm going to place the mechatronics components, my USB ports and power ports, into the schematic and push them over to my PCB document. From there, I'm going to actually push that PCB document into SOLIDWORKS PCB services, which will allow my partner, Cody, who's a mechanical engineer, to read my PCB project and he can make changes and position the components exactly where they need to be based off of the me mechanical uh, design constraints. He's then going to push that back to me. So I'm going to push these over to uh, the PCB and then push this with a note to uh, Cody. I'm Cody and I'm on the mechanical team. I just got a notification that John has finished his preliminary circuit design. I'm going to pull that up inside of SOLIDWORKS, make any changes I need, and then I'm going to push those back to John. Now that this is open, I can insert this into my master assembly and see how it fits inside of the housing. I can see I need to adjust the shape, so I'm going to do that now. Currently this board has no way to mount this in the housing, so I'm going to have to add some hardware holes. Um, I'm going to use standoffs to mount this, so I'm going to add that now. Lastly, I need to move the USB port and the power port so they match um, the housing so that we can access this hardware externally. Perfect. Now I push this back to John and he can have an updated design of the PCB. From this point, he can go about adding components, adding the traces, and finishing the design. Once he's finished with that, he can push it back to me for final approval and add that to our final assembly. Now that Cody has actually sent that information back to me, I'm going to just kind of verify everything, all the component placements and the board shape that Cody's modified. And uh, from the schematics I was working on while Cody was working on the mechanical part, at this point I just really have to run the schematics through my ECO process to get the information from the schematic to the board. I'm going to lay out the rest of the board, run my design rule checks, and then once that's done, I'm actually going to push the board back to Cody one last time so he'll have a final version of the board with all the traces and components on it for his SOLIDWORKS application. I'm also going to send the board off to uh, our manufacturing output so I can send it to our nano dimension printer that will get me a prototype right here really quick in-house. In so the key thing I want to point out here is all this happens without any uh, really interactions between the mechanical engineer and myself other than uh, the notification systems. When I make changes, Cody will be notified or whoever the mechanical engineer gets notified internally within the program. So we're actually uh, ultimately on a unified platform, whether I'm dealing with the PCB documents or my mechanical documents. Uh, we, we have a, a seamless integration. So that will conclude this session of the SOLIDWORKS PCB for our technology showcase. If you'd like to see how we can actually create uh, schematic diagrams for our wires, cables, and harnesses, click on the video here. If you'd like to see how we can actually use those schematics inside the SOLIDWORKS mechanical application to create 3D representations of those cables and harnesses and wires, click on this video here. Mm -hmm.